Tough Art is a 14-week residency at the Children's Museum of Pittsburgh, uh, where artists come in from around the country um, to create unique pieces of art uh, for this audience. Um, it's not an it's not a residency where you're building exhibits uh, for the museum audience, but actually using the museum audience as a test bed for unique interactive artwork. I never really considered an audience in anything I ever made. Um, I never really worked with groups of people and made work either with them or for them. Um, so me it was different in that way, um, actually constantly thinking about an audience while you make something. There was a, a real need for the, the artist to be able to more easily interface with the audience. Um, one thing that you find with interactive kids exhibits is that kids can bring a level of enthusiasm, we'll call it, uh, to interactive art especially, um, that you don't see in a gallery or even don't see even sometimes on the street. You know, I have actual like financial and institutional support for like learning how to think about interaction. Money. Uh, a budget to actually create work, uh, space to create that work, access to tools, and in some cases, uh, people and expertise. And the relationships with the people at the museum. I was so inspired and grateful for the support that we got from here. It really, it was the first time in my artistic career um, that I had gotten so much institutional support, and it was, it still is, one of the major highlights. It was, that was an amazing feeling. I think also being able to uh, produce a prototype and then throw it on the floor to see how yeah. kids react to it. Um, if, if maybe not, maybe they don't react to it. So how do we, how do we change things in order to um, get them engaged? This residency like offers months of time a team of people who are like watching over your work, encouraging you to prototype stuff with the public. Being part of a museum is pretty cool, seeing how things work and the different departments and then the weird different collections that are here, finding out about them. I would say before I tended to keep viewers at arm's length, um, but I can see that it's a lot of fun to be able to invite viewers in to, to play and interact. And so I guess this has helped me think about ways that I can make more tough art for people of all ages in the future. It was really exciting to be part of a group of artists working in the same residency as opposed to me by myself or even me with my collaborator because we were able to bounce ideas off of each other in meetings we had. We were able to watch other people's prototyping and see how types of react, like reactions and um, experiments they did worked in the museum, even if we didn't have time to do that. Having conversations with smart people makes you smarter. So if you can gather all these people in the same place in one room, even if it's just once a week or for short periods of time, it makes everybody's work better. Being one of a few different artists was nice because I didn't feel alone. I think it's one of the only and best residencies there is offered to do in like the summer months in Pittsburgh. I can't speak highly enough about this place. 